Okay, here's a story time for you. I'm gonna try, I've tried like two times to record this, but I keep going over the three minute limit and I don't wanna do a part one, part two type thing. So I'm gonna try to be specific. I was on that flight. It was American Airlines. We were leaving Dallas, Fort Worth. I was sitting in the left aisle, about three rows back from this woman. She was sitting in the right aisle and she had this very interesting exchange with some dude in a hoodie. I don't remember the color of the hoodie. I. I really, you know how memory is, when you're not super paying attention, you don't remember all the details. I had one headphone in, couldn't hear all the specifics of what happened, but I noticed this exchange between this woman and this dude in a hoodie. And it was kind of weird at the time because it seemed like no one else before she really started getting frantic, like was paying attention to this, but that makes sense. It was like a normal flight. This was after putting all the luggage away. We'd been on the plane for a little bit. It was before the flight attendant came over and gave the little spiel. and. What I remember is she ha was having like a full-blown conversation with this dude in the hoodie. I'll call him the hoodie guy. She was having a full-blown conversation with hoodie guy. The weird thing was that he never once said a fucking word to her the whole time. And at the time, I, I don't know, I wasn't really thinking about it. But it was like she, it's like she would say something and he like would respond, but there was no exchange happening it was just her getting more and more frantic which okay if she's drunk and she's going crazy then you would think the dude in the hoodie would have been like what are you talking about like what are you talking about but he was just like dead locked on her like deep eye contact with her like like i don't want to feed into the conspiracies here but like like almost like she was like in a hypnosis type of thing and she started getting more and more frantic to the point where then people started kind of noticing flight attendant came over tried to calm her down like what's going on she sat back down but she kept looking over at this dude in the hoodie and finally she was like done with it and that's like when i really started paying attention like okay what the fuck is going on and that's when she was like i'm ca i can't do this she started getting up she started walking up to the front and then the whole video thing happened. I didn't take a video of it. I was listening to a Stephen King audiobook. I wasn't like pulling out my phone to record this. And she didn't seem drunk to me, by the way. Just throwing that out there. She, I didn't, I didn't see her drink. I mean, she didn't. She seemed totally normal to me up until that point. The weird thing was after she left the plane, the dude in the hoodie, which the flight attendant was like, did anything happen? And he still didn't say a word. He just went like, and like shrugged. The dude in the hoodie like looked around the plane, and he looked back at me. And he winked at me. And again, I didn't quite register it. I was like, okay, what the fuck was that about? I was like, maybe he's just being like an ass, like winking, like that was weird, wasn't it? But now that I look back, I realized that when he winked at me and it was his left eye looking back at me, it didn't wink like this. It winked like this. And I didn't even register.